We cooking steak on an island. Let's go! He's zooming! He's zooming! Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. My toe! My toe! I just broke my toe again. Today, me and Ricky are gonna be attempting to spend the night on this island. Earlier today, we gathered supplies and ventured out here by boat. But this is not going to be any ordinary survival challenge. Me and Nick are going to be going head to head in a series of survival challenges to compete for supplies. We're gonna be competing in three separate challenges for three different care packages. Up first, we got shelter. The winner of the shelter challenge will be staying in a luxury seven person tent. They also got an air mattress, a pump for the air mattress, a full on sleeping bag, and also an inflatable couch because why not? While on the other hand, the loser of the shelter challenge will be staying in a hammock. That's it, just a hammock. In the second challenge, we will be competing for utility. The winner of the utility challenge will get a lantern, a gas stove with propane to light it, metal silverware, and a full on actual lighter. While on the other hand, the loser of the utility challenge will only get one box of matches, and some plastic silverware. And last but most definitely not least, for food, the winner of the food challenge will be getting four top sirloin steaks, a gallon of water, a potato, a couple of chives, and a nice pan and spatula to cook it all up. Or well, the loser won't be so lucky. They'll be having to eat an M R E, a meal ready to eat. This is lasagna and meat sauce in a bag. How good could that possibly be? And also, they will have to ration one bottle of water the entire day and night we are out here. May the best man win. And uh, we may have forgot to mention, there's actually a massive inflatable slide on this island because this isn't any ordinary island. We are here on Beer Can Island located in Florida and there's a bunch of random stuff here. And this slide is actually the first challenge. We're competing for the shelter. I hope you're ready to sleep in that hammock, bro. Dude, hammock? I ain't sleeping in no hammock. The only thing you're gonna be posted up between tonight is two trees and both of these nuts in your face, buddy. What? Challenge number one, competing for the shelter, is the big inflatable slide. How it's gonna work is the fastest person to go up and down the slide wins. The timer stops when you touch the end of the slide. One hit rig is up first. I'm not gonna lie, boys. This is gonna be a tough one. Your boy actually fractured his big toe in an overnight challenge dropping in a couple weeks where we spent the night in a crazy Airbnb. So make sure you're subscribed right now. You don't wanna miss it. And also, it don't matter. Nothing's gonna stop me. A fractured big toe, NCK, nothing. I'm winning, I'm winning. On your marks, get set, go! Here we go, go to the races. Oh, oh, it hurts my big toe. He's going fast. He's limping though. I'm going slow. This is not good, boys. Here we go. He's zooming, he's zooming, he's going, he's going. All the way, all the way, all the way. Boom! Stop the timer. 24 seconds. Oh. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Every step up that slide was just cr cracking my toe, just snapping it more and look more. Look at that, bro. It's so bruised. I know. Woo, that Yo, doesn't look good. I'm not confident, though. I'm not confident in that. Up next, NCK. He's gotta be 24 seconds. If I don't beat a man with a literal broken toe, I'm gonna be mad at myself, bro. I'm ready. Honestly, honestly. If you don't beat me, that's sad. In three. Two, one, go! There he goes, there he goes. Ooh, I'm going fast. Two steps at a time. Two steps at a time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, but he's coming. But he's going quick. I'm at the top. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! He's already down. I'm zooming. I'm zooming. He's zooming. I'm zooming. I'm zooming. How quick 
Boom! Shots! Oh! My! Gosh! 19 seconds! What can you expect, bro? I literally had a broken toe, man. Honestly, I I'm disappointed that I didn't beat you by more. But all I gotta say is, buddy, hope you're ready to sleep in that hammock. Seven person ten, I got an air mattress, I got a couch. I got all the luxuries. Why did I decide to do this overnight challenge right now? I'm about to lose every single one of these challenges. For challenge number two, we are gonna be competing for the utilities in the obstacle course. You will start right here and make your way to the platform. From the platform, you must make it over this wall. From the wall, you will come this way and go up onto the monkey bars. From the monkey bars, you will make your way to the red tires. Once you make it off of the tires, you will make your way to the platform where you must scale the wall and the timer doesn't stop until you touch the red beam. Because I'm in first, I'm gonna go first. Honestly, I'm not looking forward to this one. It looks like every single obstacle on here could literally snap my toe in half. They don't want me to win, boys. Let's go! I'm coming for that fire stove top! All you're gonna have is a box of matches, some plastic silverware, and a broken toe, buddy! You haven't even gone yet, bro. Let's go, bro. Talking all this smack for no reason. Start the timer! All right. Timer starts in three, two, one! Go! Try to keep up, buddy. Yo, he's moving faster than me. Oh my gosh, he is moving fast! Oh, 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 oh. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. Oh, the whole oh. way, no stops. Ah. Click it. Ah. Ah. Who's the king of the jungle, baby? Not you, not you. He literally went faster than I went on the water slide. Coming in with the time of 21 seconds. You ain't getting nothing. I'm not gonna lie, I was struggling keeping up and all I was doing was running on the sand. Up next, one hit Rick with the broken toe. He needs this, he really needs this. It looks like he's meditating, he's really getting in the zone right now. Doing a little bit of Wim Hof breathing exercises. Are you ready? I'm ready. On your marks, get set, go! Yo, 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 oh, let's go, oh! Go, go. Yeah, he's fine, he's fine. He's go. going pretty fast. He's on the monkey bars, but he's swinging. He's made it through the monkey bars onto the red tires. My toe, my toe. Yes, he's oh. going. Go, go, Ricky. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Come on. Yo, yo, yo. Somehow, some way, Ricky's final time was 20 seconds. Yo, yo. Tell me now. Let's go, baby. They said I couldn't do it. They said I wouldn't win, but I came through to prove everyone wrong. Yeah! They said I couldn't do it. They doubted me, but look who came through. Look who did it. Yes! I just have one thing to say. One thing to say. Shout out to my sponsor who believed in me when no one else did. IBP merch, link in description. If you want to be a winner like me, the best in the game, even when they say you can't do it. Cop some of the newest merch. Look at it right here, boys. It's literally like a movie on the front. Got all the boys on it. And then on the back, Overnight Marathon season number two. All of the locations that we're doing in the Overnight Marathon season number two. These are available right now at ibpmerch.com. The top link in the description. What better way to watch the overnight marathon than to be rocking the merch with the boys. It's like you're on the adventures with us. You don't wanna miss out. Cop it now before it sells out. Honestly, I can't believe I won that. I don't even know, I don't even know how. My, I broke my toe like four times on that run. But you know what that means? It comes down to the final challenge. The sun has just about set, but it is now time for the third and final challenge where we are competing for the food, competing for the steaks, or that meat lasagna in a bag, and how this challenge is gonna work is, we're each gonna get one turn to hide the merch from the other contestant. Whoever finds the merch fastest is walking home with those sirloin steaks. 
I guess you could say there's a lot at stake here. Oh, well, hopefully you don't find it too slow because that would be a big mistake. Missed. Missed stake. I, I get it. I get it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I got the merch right here. Ricky is over there waiting. Yo, hey, no peeking! This guy is trying to cheat, bro. Stop looking. Come over here. I gotta hide this thing good. Bro, stop peeking for real, bro. Right. We're going deep in the woods. All right, I think it's good. All right, buddy. I have hid the merch. And keep in mind, the timer doesn't stop until the shirt has been put on. Okay? Okay. On your marks, get set, search. Yo. You probably put it as far away as possible, knowing that I have a broken toe. But nothing is gonna stop me. I think I, I just gotta use my senses and really think about where, where this merch is. Where could it be? He put it far, I know he put it far. It is some of the hottest merch. So if I wait long enough, it might just start a fire in these trees and in these branches. Ow, ow, ooh, my toe, my toe. I just broke my toe again. Shout out this branch for breaking my other toe. No sign of it. Yo, where is this thing, bro? Where is this thing? Bro, you just hit the two minute mark. Come on now. Yo, I'm trying, bro, I'm trying. I thought this was gonna be easy for I'm you. I'm trying, bro. Dude, think differently, okay? You're looking down a lot. Oh. I'm looking down a lot. I know I'm getting close. Oh, bro is getting close. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, he found it, but he can't get it. Woohoo! Cool, he's gotta get the shirt on before the timer stops. Timer is still ticking. Boom! Three minutes and 42 seconds. Not your best performance. Bro, you walked right past it in I the did? very beginning, bro. I'm going crazy. I'm hiding it somewhere you've never seen. All right, bro. Somewhere you can never think of. Bro, if you put it on like the top, the very top of a tree, that doesn't, that's not fair. I'm not gonna lie, I choked hard right there. But I'm gonna redeem myself by hiding this in the craziest spot possible. NCK over there is not ready. This man, this man doesn't know what he's in store for. Stay over there, buddy. Look that way, I see you looking. He hid this in the tree. That means there's nothing off limits. I'm going crazy. Right here, Nick hit it high. I'm gonna do the exact opposite and hide it low inside this cinder block. Roll this thing up just so it's barely peeking out. And all he can see when he loses is my face right there. He's taking out. 342 is the time to beat. NCK's gotta put it together right now. Everything is on the line. Are you ready? I'm ready. I was born ready in three. Two, one, go! All right, here we go, folks. He's looking, he's looking, but he is not finding. Bro, it's been 20 seconds, okay? Searching the trees. Make sure to search everywhere. That's the only hint I'm gonna give you. Oh, getting a little creative. Thinking I might play a little trick play on him and hide it with the stuff. Oh, Where is it, bro? Where is it? Tell me, bro. Am I really? Are you lying to me? No, no, I'm being honest. You're, at, you're actually, you're cold, you're cold. Yeah, I'm cold because I don't have my IBP merch on. The hottest merch in the game. Available, link in description, ibpmerch.com. All right, I just wow. wasted, I just wasted so much time. time. You guys better go cop it. Could have been for a loss right there. He's looking around, hitting the two minute mark. Crunch time is upon us. But where could this thing be, for real? <laughs> you said, make sure you look high. I'm gonna say, make sure you look low. That's your hint, buddy. You put my merch in the sand? He's yeah. very close. He's very close. He is so close. He is over. He is literally so close. Yo. Is this it? Is he it? it? No. No, he's so close. You're like right on it. You literally stepped. Oh, no. Yo, you're literally, you looked at it. You literally looked at it. Take a few steps forward. Back. Yo, you're so, no, cold. Oh, oh. very close. Bro, am I tripping? No, you're, bro.
Warmer, 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 warmer. Oh, warmer. Oh, oh, there it is. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Oh my. I'm going so slow. So slow. So. Oh my gosh. I've never seen. Oh my. Come on, bro. Bro. What is this? Stop the timer. Boom. I just stopped the timer. And the winner of the stakes is not you. 442. You were so close, bro. You were hovering around it. You just needed to come right around. It was right there. It was right there. Bro, I thought you buried it or something. I, like, a, like a hidden piece of treasure. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I was going to bury it, and then I was like, oh, it's too much, too much. I put it right there. I bro, was so... Ah! Bro, I'm robbing you in the middle of the night for a steak. All four of those are going to be mine. Let's just say, when the stakes are on the line, your boy four. First thing I am going to be setting up is this seven person tent right here. Ow, my foot. Ah, I broke my toe. Oh. Nick might have that whole fancy setup over there, but look at me. Look what I just found. A perfect place to put my hammock. All I gotta do, tie this up, attach this, and I'll be done in like two, maybe three minutes. Seven person tent is gonna be nice and spacious, but it might be a little bit harder to set up than that hammock. Yo, I just set up this tent. Look at this thing. It is, look at this. This is what camping is all about. This is what it is supposed to look like. I hope Ricky can figure out setting up that hammock. And just like that, your boy is fully set up his camp. Take a look right here. Got it strapped on this pole. Got it strapped on this side too. And uh, honestly, this thing is pretty comfortable. <laughs> Great setup. Honestly, super comfortable too. I thought this wasn't gonna be that comfortable. This might be more comfortable than Nick's setup. Come on! Oh, low key that hammock. Doesn't sound too bad right now. <laughs> Just swinging on a hammock out here enjoying nature, enjoying spending the night on an island. Honestly, this is honestly way more enjoyable than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, 30 minutes later and this air mattress is finally blown up. Oh my goodness, bro. Ah! Now time to do it all over again and blow up that couch. This looks like it's about a snap though. Right there, I can't lie, I'm a little bit worried. If this whole thing comes down, it's landing right on me. I finally blew up the air mattress and the couch and it is now time for me to give you guys a tour of Mikasa. This is the outside of the tent. Open the door and then right when you get inside, you are greeted by the massive queen size air mattress. Yes, you heard that right. This is a queen size air mattress and right on top, we have ourselves a nice, elegant red velvet silk sleeping bag just to make it a little bit more comfortable or if it gets a little bit cold at night. We also got ourselves a little lantern right here for that light. Yeah, that is pretty much it for the inside of the tent. But my tour is not done yet because you're probably wondering, NCK, where is the inflatable couch? Well, my friends, it wouldn't really fit in here. So, outside of my tent, right here. The weather is pretty nice right now, so having it outside isn't even bad. I can just sit back, watch the waves roll in. It's really just a beautiful sight to see. I'm gonna try and start a little bit of fire with those matches and then also cook myself a little bit of that lasagna with meat sauce. At least I have 32 of them, but these things are tiny. One match down. Come on, 
Go, no! These matches go out so quick. I'm gonna try three matches at the same time. Come on, the leaves are going. I need to go find a, a tree branch. Ah. Oh! Come on now. No, come on now. I'm running out of matches here. I am down to my last match. It all comes down to this. If I don't get it, I might not be able to cook my pasta. No, it broke! The tip broke off! Bro! Ricky! I might need some help. I'm gonna check on NCK and see how that guy's doing over in his camp. Yo, NCK, buddy! Hello? Yo. Ricky? This place is looking... Oh, you like what you see? It's looking pretty good, I can't it lie. It is looking pretty good and it feels even better. Whoa, 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 bro, you, what are you doing coming to my tent? Just Acting a look. like you won that prize. I'm just taking a look, man. If you want to come in my tent, you got to give me a little bit of that steak. No steak for you. That's on me. Honestly, I'm enjoying mine. It was easy to set up. Took two seconds. It's probably took you. You got a whole couch out here, too. I also see that you don't got real food. You got that meatballs and lasagna. Buddy, why are you hating on this? This is lasagna with meat sauce with a cheesy Italian style tomato sauce and beef freeze dried. Oh, wow. Bro, the only problem with this is it says the instructions are to open the bag and then carefully add one and a half cups of boiling water. Ooh, boiling water. Interesting. How are you gonna boil water when you don't have a stove top? Oh wait, I have a stove top. Bro. Come on, bro. Dude, what am I supposed to do? I'll make a deal. I'll make a deal with you. You give me half of that too. All right, half is better than none. All right, let's go see your base. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, follow me this way, follow me this way. Just right over here, this is your boy's setup that actually looks pretty comfortable. Dude, it's pretty comfortable though, I cannot lie. But enough of that. You know what we're really here for. Let's cook up. I mean, let me cook up. And then you just get the leftovers. Welcome to One Chef Rick's cooking channel where I show you how to properly chef food up. What the heck? Is this, how does this, is this right? I don't want to explode, you know? I thought this was One Hit Rick's cooking show. Flip stove counterclockwise. Right facing circle? No. This is where you put the gas right in here, right? That's where you put the gas right in there. This is the gas thing we got. Look. Too big. Won't fit. I won the whole competition for nothing. How are you supposed to cook the steaks? I gotta cook these steaks. I didn't win these steaks for nothing. I still got a lighter. I'm gonna try to make a makeshift stove. I'm gonna look for branches, try to stack something together to put the pan on, maybe like a rock, and then try to heat it up and then still cook on there. Cause I did not win these steaks for nothing, bro. I'm still eating good. And I'm eating all of your food, all of it. And just like that, we're back. One Chef Rick's cooking special. As you can see right here, two rocks to prop up the pan as so, and then I'm just gonna use the lighter that I won to light this bad boy up. I'm gonna cook Nick's meals first, and then I'm gonna get on to the good, juicy steaks. Let's go, boys. Will it light, though? Will it light? Oh, easy. Easy. Oh my, bro. So much easier when you have a lighter. We are cooking, boys. What does it say, one fourth cup? A cup and a half. Cup and a half. That's about a cup and a half right there. The fire is still cooking underneath there, warming up that water. Woo! I feel like an adventurer, buddy. I feel like a survivalist. But while we wait for this water to boil, let's place something even hotter than the fire underneath. Roll that IBP merch promo. Hall of Fame on them, go damn on them. Take shots in the main minute. Close doors, but I came on in. And no taming them. No pay, no gain. Now I'm paid a bit. Now I made a bit. Thank God that I prayed a bit. Hall of Fame in it. Go damn in it. All of my goals I tainted. Yeah. And if you guys want to get your very own overnight marathon t shirt with the boys on the front, 
and all the locations of the overnight marathon on the back. You already know where to go, ibpmerch.com or click the top link in the description. What better way to watch the overnight marathon series than to rock the merch? It's like you're on the adventure with the boys. But right now, the water is boiling. Absolutely going crazy, bro. I think it is now time to dump that water into my lasagna and meat sauce that has been freeze dried. Ooh, that was pretty good. Now the lasagna and meat sauce has to sit for a little bit. Just finished skinning the potato. About to cook these boys on that stove. Steak and potatoes out here on an island. It doesn't get better than that. I'm gonna try to cut them up in a little circular french Dude, fries. Don't cut your finger off. Huh? Bro. Dude, I'm a professional cook. Don't doubt me, bro. Yeah? Well, your fire is dwindling. So rub IBP merch together, it'll, it'll, right, it'll get it right back to where it was. <sighs> Woo! Woo! Woo -hoo! If you boys want some of the hottest merch in the game, IBPmerch.com. They do call it the hottest merch in the game for a reason. I mean, look, the fire was out. He just threw it. He just threw a little sprinkle, and look what it did. All just right. like that. Cook those potatoes, brother. Look at those potatoes. Come on now. While the potatoes are cooking, your boy is gonna be trying my lasagna with meat sauce. Take a look in there, boys. Oh my goodness. Whoa. whoa. Wait, hold up. That actually looks good. That packet was supposed to be taken out. We were supposed to take this out before. Oh, really? I'm gonna take it out now. Isn't that really bad? Yeah, but you know, it's a... Don't try this at home, kids. Mmm! Yo. Is it really good? Yo. Kind of fire, bro. Yo, 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 let me get some, let me get some. Yo, 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 for real. Bro, you owe me, you owe me, you owe me, you owe me, you know? Ooh, this look, ooh. That smells like Chef Boyardee. Hold up, wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This isn't, this isn't bad. I can't tell if it's because I haven't eaten all day. We were roasting it heavily, but for me and honest, I'm gonna give this bad boy an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Dude, this is better than some restaurants. Potatoes are done. Gonna get a little taste test right here. Look at that. Nice and crispy, nice and, ooh. Here we go. Oh yeah, how is that? Oh. Dude, that's actually, oh my gosh, that's actually really good. Mmm. A bite? A bite? I'll take a bite. Bro, pretty good. For yeah. an unseasoned potato? Not bad. Not bad. Time for that steak, though. Oh, yeah, we couldn't get that steak up. Yo, baby! Ooh. This thing is burning! You got the steaks right here. They looking juicy, they looking good, but honestly, I'm not sure how good they're gonna be because they've been sitting out in the hot sun all day outside. Bro, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be good. Cows sit in the sun all day. We still eat them. What's well, a couple extra more hours, bro? Put them on, put, put them, put them on the stove and let's get cooking. It's a, it's a little different, bro. This is raw meat outside in the sun for hours and hours and hours. Bro, you think they just standing around in the sun cooked? Nah, they still raw, buddy. Steak going on. Oh, that does not look good. What is that? Oh. We cooking steak on an island. Let's go! Time to flip. Ooh. The sirloin steak. Yo, perfect grill marks, perfect char. That's honestly better than I do it at home, boys. Woo, we eating good tonight. Woo-hoo! Let's go. Top sirloin, fresh and ready to be served. And I think it's only right, you know, I'm a nice guy. So I'm gonna let you do the honors, bro. Oh, I so if uh, I get sick from eating meat that's been left out all day, I'll be the first one. Okay. Your boy is going in. Thank you for letting me have that first bite, buddy. I actually really do appreciate it. I just hope that this uh, will be my last bite. Ooh, come on now, come on now. All right, look at that, look at that. Looking very well done, but hey, you did a great job. Well done, buddy. Let's see how it tastes. Ah. Tastes like a little bit of sand is in there. It's very crunchy. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be crunchy. Dude, well, you know, you know what? Honestly, I'm such a nice brother. I'm gonna let you have it all. I'm gonna let you have that. I'm gonna let you keep those. I'm just a nice guy, man, you know? 
And I'm not gonna lie, there was a little bit of a funky taste. I don't know if I'm having any more. But the fact that we are out here on an island, we got the tent set up, Ricky's got the hammock set up, we're cooking steaks out here on an island. Come on now, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button right now because this is still just the beginning of the overnight marathon where we're dropping a brand new overnight challenge every single Friday from here till the end of the year. If you missed the other episodes that we posted so far, make sure you click up there and go cop the new merch to watch the new season. Let's go, boys! Who's doing it like this? Who's keeping it real? Ain't nobody out there doing it like the boys, baby. Let's go! All right, your boy is going into his tent. Luxury right here. Right onto the air mattress. This is actually kind of nice, I can't lie. I'm gonna get a great night's sleep. A full eight hours for sure. And uh, hopefully I don't get washed away. I'll see y'all in the morning. Is posted up in his tent, but he doesn't see this out here. The tide is rising. We filmed the intro of the video way out there earlier, and the water has come all the way up to here. Honestly, the tide might rise so high, it might flood Nick's tent in the middle of the night. Hopefully it doesn't, but luckily your boy put up his campsite way up on shore just in case that happened i was thinking ahead boys i was thinking ahead i got it made out here it's nothing extravagant it's nothing crazy but it's simple but something i realized while doing this challenge is that sometimes it's the simple things in life that can mean the most sometimes it's just going outside getting in nature or just laying in a hammock you don't need the fanciest stuff you don't need to go on the craziest vacation ever you don't need to do the most wild thing the most expensive thing honestly the MRE that we ate was better than the steak that we had and it was a fraction of the cost this hammock right here so simple but yet so comfortable coming out here on this island spending the night out here zero cost absolutely free when we could stay in a crazy expensive hotel and maybe that would be a cool experience a different experience but that doesn't mean it's any better because sometimes in life it's not about what you're doing it's who you're doing it with and just appreciating and having gratitude for being alive being able to breathe being able to walk being able to see so man i'm just filled with gratitude and thankfulness right now and i'm so thankful for all you guys watching that support us every single video for those of you that have watched us for years or those of you that have just joined us thank you so much dude i wasn't even planning on saying all this but man i love you guys you guys are the best and you can really do anything that you set your mind to never let anyone tell you that you can't and just be appreciative with what you have right now because the things that you have right now in life used to be the things that you dreamed for so always keep that in mind love you guys i'm gonna get some sleep see you guys in the morning yo it's like 2 30 a.m the wind picked up a little bit it's shaking the tent around i can hear the waves they're getting closer but uh i think i should be good Right now it is currently 6.50 in the morning and I got woken up by the waves crashing the shore. But take a look at this. The tide must have risen at night because my tent is literally flooded with water. But luckily it didn't go any higher or else my whole tent and inflatable couch could have easily gone swept away into the sea. But look at that. It's morning time. We made it. We made it! We made it! I gotta go wake up Ricky now. Ah! Yeah, wake up, wake up! You see what time it is, bro? Mm. Wake up! Mm. We made it! Yeah! We made it! Just like that, the sun has risen, and just like that, the boys have completed another 
overnight challenge. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. And if you like the merch, be sure to cop the merch. Top link in the description. And also, follow the boys on Instagram and Snapchat if you want to see behind the scenes of all of this stuff before it happens. We love you guys. And until next time. Hall of Fame on them. Throw damn on them. Take shots in the main minute. Whittle away. Whittle away at the potato like a little croissant. Yeah. So soft and dull. Yeah. Come on. And I made it big. Now uh, we have to find a way off of the island because uh, the guy that took us here, <laughs> he's nowhere to be found. And I made it big. Come on, bro. Walking back.